Yo, 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 what is good, YouTube? It's your boy Game Time. Tell y'all already know the vibes, only the strong surviving. We back with this Madden 23 online head to head. Before we get into it, I want to give some shout outs real quick. Shout out to my boy Dylan, Toby Ames, and Waffle for commenting on my videos. I appreciate y'all for that. Appreciate everybody liking my videos, watching my videos, commenting, subscribing to my channel. Thank y'all for that, and I appreciate it. Let's get into this gameplay. So as y'all can see, I'm rocking out with the Ravens. I know I use the Ravens a lot. This gameplay right here is a couple days old. So as of now, the team that I've been using the most is the Saints. I've been doing you know pretty good with them. They got Alvin Kamara, Michael Thomas, uh, Jarvis Landry. The QB is not the best QB, but it's still not the worst QB. I could, I'm able to work with Jameis Winston. And the defense is pretty good as well. You got Tyron Matthew, Marshawn Lattimore, uh, Cameron Jordan. So I've been using the Saints lately. But we're going to go ahead and talk about this game right here. So, third and 19. This, I, this guy already got, like, two stops, so two big stops on me right here. We throw it to Rashad Bateman. We don't pick up the first down, but we get some yards. So, we're just going to go ahead and punt them the ball. Second and nine. He throwing it to his running back in the backfield. He picking up that first down. That was a nice little play right there. Y'all can let me know in the comments. I said this in my other videos, but we already, like, about what two weeks or so two weeks into Madden they already had their first update not too long ago it wasn't like a big super update but y'all let me know how y'all enjoying Madden so far me personally I'm still trying to adjust to certain things with it and getting used to the way the offensive line is but this is all right for now though once they come out with more updates it'll be even better second and seven Right here, he dropping back. He looking for somebody trying to spam ball at the pocket. He don't get nobody. That was a terrible throw. I, I guess he was trying to actually throw it. You can't do that this year in Madden 23. Right here, he almost picked up the first down, but we stopped him short, fourth and three. He coming out in the no huddle. And like, yo, I don't know why people come out in no huddle. First quarter, like, bro, it's not. that's not it, bro. Like, don't come out no huddle first quarter. Right here, he throws it across the middle and get a big play. So I guess the no huddle worked out for him. Yeah, and I was just trying to blitz right there just to get that pressure on him ASAP. Third and ten, right here I'm getting a pick deep down the field. My boy Chuck Clark coming up with the pick. We juke the first defender right there. We pick up some more yards. Get to about the 40. And that's what he get, man, for trying to go for it. He should have just, you know, gave us the ball. And we just had to go and take it from him. First down, first and ten. We got my boy Rashad Bateman deep down the field. On the first play after getting the pick, we get the touchdown. Y'all already know the vibes, man. Listen, if y'all liking this video so far, we just get into it. Just comment, subscribe, like the video, all that. First and 10. Right here, we getting another pick. His first play back with the ball, we getting another pick with Marcus Peters. And I don't even think I mentioned this in the beginning of the video, but the third quarter came and the game, you know, kind of took off. Pretty got out of hand. Things went left for him. First and 10. We handing this ball off to J.K. Dobbins. He almost picking up the first down for us. Second and inches. That really should have been first, but it's whatever. Right here, we coming out in gun empty. I know I like this formation a lot. I don't see nobody open. I tried to scramble with Lamar, and that just did not work out well. Ended up taking a sack right there. We got Rashad across the middle. He didn't get much yards. But we still up by a touchdown, so even if we kick a field goal, y'all know that's pretty good positioning right there. Run the ball with JK, and we got the easy touchdown. Now, I can say this. The one thing about this guy is he was kind of using Tyree Kill pretty good this game. Like, Tyree Kill had, I think, at least 100 receiving yards. He was pretty much, you know, going crazy a little bit with Tyree Kill. And look, no huddle again. Like, why, bro, why are you no huddling? Like, you have, like, he get Tyree Kill down the field. I like, see what I'm saying? He's doing good with Tyree Kill, but I just don't like playing against guys that just no huddle, no huddle, no huddle. Like, once again, another no huddle. I guess they just see stuff that they like, but eventually people adjust and they shut it down. So, second and 13, right here, he throw it deep down the field. We get the incompletion. That's some good defense right there. 14 to 0, we up two touchdowns, and it's already looking scary right here. We get almost get the sack, but it go for an incompletion. So now it's fourth down. We get the ball back, running with JK up the middle. Juke two defenders, and we pick up the first. And J.K., I be going crazy with J.K. a little bit. When I do use the Ravens, J.K. be putting in some work for me, which is expected. I was doing pretty good with him at, I was doing pretty good with him at Madden 22. Right there, as y'all can see, we get a sack, and we use a lot of yards, and then we end up throwing a pick. Like, 
when that comeback bro he he you no know, got the pick he wasn't even using him it was just a computer but now they got the ball back with 30 seconds left in the first half and like i said look he got me he beat me with tyreek hill like i pressed tyreek hill with marlon humphrey and he just got off that press and got us deep down the field with tyreek hill so that's the first score of the game right there for him at least that's the first score of the game 14 to 7 now but I wasn't tripping about that because, you know, it is Tyreek Hill. I was pressing him right there. J.K. breaking like three tackles, picking up almost an extra 20 yards. Good first down right there. And right here on this drive, we pretty much just going to run it, run out some of most of this clock because we already up by a touchdown. You know, we just run this ball and run some of this clock out. We could still kick a field goal or score another touchdown. We got Bateman across the middle, almost picking up a first. Third and inches, we dropping back with Lamar. I see my boy Andrews across the middle, deep down the field. And that's, you gotta really watch out. When it comes to passing with the Ravens, you gotta watch out for Mark Andrews because he be low key getting some sneaky catches. Like, he be getting down the field and out routes and all of this. You gotta watch out for him. So, right there, we get the touchdown with JK. And JK was doing his thing this game. I don't know if I said that earlier, but JK, he had like, what, three rushing touchdowns or something like that? So yeah, he was, you know, played a big factor in this game. Third, second and nine. We get to stop right there with Tyreek Hill. He only pick up one yard. We was on all of that. And I even was guarding. I was guarding Tyreek Hill most of this game. We almost get the pick right there. That should have that should have been a pick. But at least we got the incompletion. Now we on third and nine. We about to head into the fourth quarter. That quick, we got a fumble. Like, I thought that was a sack at first, but then I seen it said fumble. And now we got that ball back. We're going to go here with a read option and just easily run it up the middle with J.K. Like, y'all see what I'm saying? This man, J.K., is really wilding. Like, let's go. We up 28-7. to 7. I told y'all earlier, once third quarter came, the game went left for him. Like, the score just took off. Things got out of the hand, like, mad quick for him. So, second and 19, or second and 18, I should say. And he low-key had Tyreek Ky Kill deep down the field. For some reason, he ain't throw it to him. I don't know why. But coming out in no huddle again, after a while, I just kind of got used to this. And I figured he was going to be doing that the rest of the game. He getting out the pocket with Tua. He throw it deep. And, bro, I don't know what happened with the throw, but I was on that route. It's just that the throw was so short that he was able to come back. And I couldn't, you know, react to it quick enough. So he got us deep down the field with Tyreek and scored his second touchdown of the game. Now he's trying to do an onside kick. Of course, he's not going to get it. I feel like they should, on Madden 24, even, I know we just got into Madden 23, but for future references, I feel like they should, you know, somehow work with the onside kick, you know, uh, situation, like make it somehow better to where as though when you do have an onside kick, you have at least a, a really good chance of getting it. Not to make it OP to where as though you can always get it or mostly get it, but just to give the person that's doing the onside kick a fair chance of actually, you know, taking that risk for going for an onside kick and being able to actually somehow get the ball back. Right here, he eventually stopped us. We get the fourth down. We kick the field goal. Now we up 31 to 14. This game, at this point, this game is over. We got a minute left. The game is well over. He throwing it deep, and we getting another pick. This is like the game ceiling pick right here. And yeah, we you know we gonna call this a game. This was a blowout. He made he made me work for most of my some of my touchdowns, but you know. We still got to put that work in. We got Andrews across the middle. And I just had to run the score up on him. I could have easily needed it, run the ball, two-point conversion. But, you know, I, I just want to run the score up on him. You know, I'm just having fun with it. Bad in 23 seasons and shit and all that. Just having some fun. Right here, he get Tyree kill on the corner route. Pick up some pretty good yards. Coming out in no huddle. And I just know he's trying to at least score one more touchdown. It ain't going to do him no good, but... I guess he could make the score look somewhat decent, somewhat reasonable looking. Second and inches, we got 10 seconds left in this game. He dropping back with Tua. He trying to scramble and get out the pocket, but they ain't going to work. And yeah, this was a nice game for him. We got a nice little W. I'm going to come up with more online head-to-head -head videos. And I'm trying to still work on my Mutt team as well for more Mutt content. We get a defensive pass interference, and he still get the touchdown. But it's all good. Right here, he tried to do a fake field goal, and that did not work out. Like, come on, bro. Like, that wasn't working. But anyway, we're going to check out these stats real quick before we head on out of here. Before we leave, if y'all enjoyed this video, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. I appreciate everybody for their support, for liking my videos, commenting, 
watching the video, subscribing, and yeah, so y'all can check out these stats real quick. I see JK got 100 rushing yards for three touchdowns. That's crazy. We got Rashad Bateman with four catches, 80, 85 receiving yards. Four catches, 85 receiving yards. And yeah, so we out. Peace.